Isn't it true that you've lied several times in the past to protect Marnie Saybrook and that, in fact, you're lying right now? Please answer the question, Mr. Webb. Are you lying now for Marty Saybrook? Objection. I'll rephrase the question. Isn't it true, Mr. Webb, that you recently lied to Bo Buchanan and to myself to protect Marty Saybrook? I don't remember that. Would you like me to help you regain your memory by calling Mr. Buchanan to the stand, or perhaps you can remember this all on your own? Uh, it was no big deal. Well, why don't we let the court be the judge of that, and you just tell us what happened. Okay. Okay. Um, you and Bo were hassling Marty about where she was uh, the night of last Thanksgiving. You uh, had accused her of running Bo and his wife off the road, which she hadn't, and uh, she wanted you guys off her back, and she asked me to do her a favor. And what was that? Um, I was uh, pretending to be her drug dealer, and I gave her a strong alibi about where she was that night. So you have lied for Marty in the past. <laughs> I think you're making it something more than it was. No, I'm simply calling a lie a lie, and you did admit to lying, didn't you? Objection, Your Honor. The counsel is badgering the witness. All right. Let's move on. You testified this morning that Kevin Buchanan disliked Marty Saybrook and vice versa. Isn't that correct? Yes. Why does Kevin dislike Marty? Do you have personal knowledge as to why he might? Well, it's kind of complicated, but basically Kevin hated me because I was engaged to his ex-wife, Leanne. And when Leanne left me because of Marty, I think Kevin saw Marty as partly responsible for Leanne's getting hurt, and that's when he started to hate her, too. So let me get this straight. You and Marty were lovers, and when asked by her to lie, you did so willingly to protect her. Is that right? Well, you don't know anything about me. Anymore. Yes, I know you've lied before, and I submit to the court that you're lying now. Isn't that right? Can you deny that? You're under oath. Yes, I lied before, but it was Thank for good you. reason. No you know, I'd like to redirect. Proceed. Mr. Webb, you said you had a good reason for lying. What was that? I owed Marty a favor. She did something that was very important for me, and it is something that I will never forget. Jessica, darling, we uh... lied for Marty Saybrook because she had done something very important for you. That's right. Would you please tell the courtroom what it was she did. She pretended to have an affair with me to help me win Leanne's baby back for her. That is a lie! You broke Leanne's heart, now you're trying to make Marty look good. No, you fuck. broke Leanne's heart because you wouldn't let her see her baby! Sit down, both of you, now! I will not tolerate another outburst in my courtroom. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Your Honor. Now, Mr. Webb, for the benefit of, of us who, who do not know, would you tell us who this Leanne is? Leanne Demarest was Kevin's ex-wife, and I started to see her after she broke up with Kevin. Uh, he didn't like it, so he kept their baby away from her. Thank you. You may continue, Mr. Gannon. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Webb, would you please explain the circumstances surrounding your pretended affair with Miss Saybrook? Marty and I set it up so that Leanne would find us in bed together. And I knew that that was the only way that I could get her to break up with me. Why in God's name would you do something like that? Because it is like I said. Kevin was not very happy about me being around their baby. And he said to me that he would not share partial custody with Leanne as long as I was in the picture. So I took myself out. And did your plan work? Mm-hmm. Um, 
Marty sacrificed her reputation to help me. And out of the goodness of her heart, she did that. And I will never forget that. And you're right, there's nothing that I wouldn't do for Marty. But the answer to Ms. Gannon's question is no. I am not lying for Marty right now. Thank you, Mr. Webb. Nothing further. Your Honor, I just have a couple more questions, if I may. Be brief. Of course. Mr. Webb, did you and Marty say we're conspired to lie in the event that you just described? Was your affair a lie? Yes. And have you lied in the past to protect Marty? Yes. Nothing further, Your Honor. You're excused, Mr. Webb. This trial is in recess for lunch for one hour. All right. We get out of here. Jason's telling the truth that he faked the affair with Marty? I don't know. Not sure I'm gonna find out. And you, University? Psych. Major with a minor in American Studies. I'm more interested in your social life. You attended the spring fling at the K.A.D. house early this May? Unfortunately. Why do you say unfortunately? It was a zoo. Miss Haynes, at that party, how would you describe the attitude of the defendants toward Marty Saybrook? Objection, Your Honor. The witness, in her own words, is a psych major and not a clinical psychologist. I'm not asking for expert opinion, just the observations of a fellow student. I'll allow it, within limits. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Haynes, I'll be more specific. Would you say that the defendants were friendly toward Marty Sabro? <laughs> Try hostile. Todd hated Marty, and Zach and Powell would do anything Todd told him to do. Anything. That's what I said. Anything. Mortimer. Everybody saw. Saw what, Ms. Haynes? That doll. A disgusting doll. Is this what you mean, Ms. Haynes? Yep. Please label this People's Exhibit 15. Noted. This doll seems a little deflated, Ms. Haynes. Why is that? Well, Todd pretended to make love to it. He thought it was hilarious. But Marty got the last laugh. She punctured it, along with his ego. When did you next see Todd, Zach, and Powell? Well, it was a long time. An hour or so. And then I saw Powell coming down the stairs looking green. Green? With envy? Oh, green like he was sick or something. Upset, you know. Really upset. Which brings us to the fourth defendant, Kevin Buchanan. How would you characterize the defendant's behavior with Marty Saybrook that night? Well, I saw them arrive at the party together. It was pretty obvious that Marty had a lot to drink and Kevin didn't like it. They had a fight. And the next thing I knew, he was dragging her upstairs to his room. How long were Kevin and Marty upstairs together? A long time. An hour or so, at least. I remember because I wanted to leave and Kevin's car was blocking mine. Did he move his car? Well, eventually. After he came down, I sent him back up to get his keys. One last question, Ms. Haynes. What was your reaction when you heard that Marty Saybrook had been raped? Well, I wasn't surprised. I, I mean, I'm Marty's friend and everything, <laughs> but she's no saint. Now, she can tease with the best of them. Teasing four young men, men she knew, into having sex with her? Is that the Marty Saybrook that you know? 